Tidwell is practicing new campus procedures. Avid information night was Tuesday evening. And band and choir UIL is growing nearer and nearer. Your episode of Titan TV starts now. Morning, Titans. I'm Thomas Grimm. And I'm Riley Nelson. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. Are you caught up on your ID fines? Be sure you are and have your parents check to ensure you don't owe the school anything. Remember that ID fines could keep you from attending the next school dance. The Hoops for Heart Dodgeball match is happening March 9th. Tickets are $5 to attend and will be sold starting March 5th. You can also purchase $1 tickets for a chance to play against the teachers in the event. A few weeks ago, the country watched victims of another school shooting, and you may have seen footage online or on the news. Titan TV has a special report with school administrators to discuss our safety here at Tidwell. The latest school shooting to make the news was at a high school in Florida. Students were going through their day when a former student came on campus and did the unthinkable. The scary thing about such events is that sometimes you wonder if you're safe yourself. Tidwell has many safety procedures in place to make sure certain events like the one in Florida does not happen. We have uh, lots, of, lots of things where what's considered a closed campus, so there's um, only one way in and one way out of our campus. So anytime that somebody comes into the building, uh, visitor, guest, um, anyone that doesn't have, uh, you know, that's not a student or a staff member, uh, they have to be checked in. So we have to check their driver's license, they get scanned through a system and it uh, basically kind of does a quick check to make sure that uh, they're safe to be in this building and then at that point you know they're issued a visitor badge and then they're allowed to go into the building and um, at that point so that's one of the things we also have officer garcia um, the school resource officer so he's a you know a, a full-time uh, police officer so you know that's uh, you know he's here in uniform he's got his car he's he's in the hallways he's He's out and around uh, visible, so that's another important thing. Uh, we also have our, our safety drills, uh, which we have uh, drills that uh, we do every month for the fire drill, but then we also have the other safety drills, the, the lockdown, um, you know, inside, outside, all those different safety drills, and uh, we do those uh, you know, at least once a semester, so that's something. Events on the news can seem scary, but as long as students are aware of their surroundings, follow protocols, and know what to do in an emergency, Tidwell is not only safe, but prepared. The saying is, you know, you, you play the way you practice. So if you train for a situation like that, then you're going to be prepared if and when it does happen. So the lockdown drills that y'all do here at school is it, it, it's going to help you. I'm Piper O'Dwyer, and now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Piper. Remember, Titans, all 8th graders must turn in their high school endorsement plans. Anyone who hasn't filled this in and already turned it in needs to go see a counselor ASAP. Last week, a number of Titans participated in Expo at Northwest High School. The event was from 6 to 8 p.m. Here with an exclusive look at Titan TV's Javier Rivera. <laughs> Last week, students from all over Tidwell and other NISD campuses participated in the District Expo Initiative. To be able to know, and blogging, blogging, and posting on social media helps with that. So, to conclude, students school, showed up at Northwest High School to present projects they've done in class and showcase how technology helped them accomplish that task. Students also had the opportunity to view and talk to individuals from many of the different NIC endorsement options and academies. Presentations even included things like actual pig lungs that students could watch being inflated with air. The event was catered by the NIC Culinary Academy, and even some of Tidwell's own band students provided music for participants to listen to. Congratulations to all of our students who presented last week. I'm Javier Rivera, now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Javier. Those interested in joining AVID, the information night happened this past Tuesday. It gave me people who I could trust and I could talk to openly without fear of them judging me. I've always wanted to succeed in my grades and be the most successful person I can. And when I heard about AVID when I was in sixth grade PE, I found out that it could really help me get prepared for college and prepared for more than just college, my future. It's to get better 
I've gotten better over the years. I've been in it since seventh grade and continued on in eighth grade. It's more to me than just tear offs, choral notes, and all that other stuff. Like it's family. Um, my family that I have in there, they're super important to me. I love them with all my heart. It's a lot more than what you think it is, but it, is, it really does help a lot. What has helped me the most is the TRFs. I don't always like them, but they help me, like, when I don't understand something, they help me, and they prepare me for the test. My favorite part about AVID is actually tutorials, because they help me a lot, and it makes me know that I can have help whenever I need it, and maybe I can't go to a teacher, but I'll have my tutorial group to help me. In college, AVID will definitely help me with being able to take notes in all my classes and keeping up with my organization. In high school, it'll give me great opportunities to contact colleges my freshman all the way to senior year and just give me a holding plate to be able to get through life. Advancement. Via. Individual. Determination. Now it's that time for your weekly sports report with Tamar Austin. Hi, I'm Tamar Austin and here's your sports report. On Monday, tennis won against Pike. Next week, they, the Titans take on Medley. Track has their first meet this week. Good luck to all of our Titans competing. Thanks, Tamar. The band at Enquirer UAL is inching closer and closer as the year speeds on. Choir, band, and orchestra will be competing at UAL the week of March 5th. Good luck to all our fine arts. Video games have gone a big way since they came out. One current game in particular that's been very popular among Titans and all demographics is the game Fortnite. It also has a little bit of controversy. Here's more as Titan TV's Damar Austin. Fortnite is an online co-op free-to-play battle royale game. The objective is to be number one out of 100, whichever way you choose, solo, duo, or squad, it's your choice. But is it a copy of the popular PC and Xbox game, PUBG? That's up to you. Decide. So I decided to hop on Fortnite and see what's all the hype about. At the beginning of the game, you drop out of something called the Battle Bus. You have one of 15 places to drop during the game. You can find weapons, chests, and drops that help you further complete your plan. There are five tiers of weapons. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Usually the best weapon combination is a scar and two double pumps, but the choice is yours. All in all, I think Fortnite is not a copy of PUBG because it is a cartoon battle royale. This game is also non-violent and is free on all consoles and all platforms. Thanks, Lamar. That's all we have for this week, Titans. Tune in next week for another episode. Have a great day. We'll see you next week, Titans. Oh.